Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the season opener of the Major Series here live on Racebot TV, streaming live on the iRacing eSports Network. We do apologize for the slate delay in getting going this afternoon, but MC, your GTE build, doing exactly the same, followed very quickly by your GT3 build. And first of all, good afternoon, Cam. We're back again at Daytona, and the sun is setting behind the skies. Yes, it is. Uh, well, we just uh, As they get all set to go, an early jump, green flag is out. We're underway for the Daytona 2.4. Already up to second spot in his kinetic racing machine as the rest of the cars roll their way into turn number one, starting with the GTE class. Place, but they are already down in info. This horseshoe as well. The international horseshoe almost looking for three wide as David Baker up inside of Richard Azazel. It's a clean start for the entire 56 car field today. The side by side behind you see was Kenneth was Kevin and Joshua Wolf. Joshua. Leads that you have to be very, very careful that battle for the lead because Brock and Rouge have both lost touch the lead group with the traffic. Two hours to go in the Daytona 2.4 for the first round of the major series European region. Season contact right in front of the prototype leaders. It's Hank Strom around. He had contact from Mike Gaunt right in front of the leaders. It's not going to open for the leaders now with the prototypes. Patasca is in. We also have another prototype just stopping in the stall. It's still the matter of one thing. Can he find a way to close up? Once he oversteered on the entry and locked it down, but... Oh! Fashi Ponte just went off the racetrack into the tire barrier! There was no contact, but just oversteered on the entry. Looking to still make their final stops in the next couple laps or so as they reach the end of the field takes goal. It's going to be furious to see. It's oh, 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 to go around. So that is a big incident. And go to his dominance by pulling away from the rest of the field by 17 seconds at the moment. And that is probably a celebratory flash of right there because he knows that he's got this race all sold up. He needs to get to the bus stop. He's got, he's got that bus stop to go to one last time. Class there close works his way up from third to win in the threes. It was Kurt Brock who did not start as far as that border, worked up 15 spots to take the victory. Today, to say the very least, and burnout celebrations are underway as some of the drivers finish up their last laps. Tom Drelly will be the last car to take the checker flag, continue the cool down lap for today's racing action from Daytona International Speedway. 